G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, I just literally picked this, up this parcel at the post office about half an hour ago. This is a new ZLRC SG906 Beast GPS smart foldable drone. As you can see, it's brushless, and this one just hit the market over the past week. And there's been quite a bit of talk about this one, mainly due to its price point and the features that it claims to have. So... I'm looking forward to testing this one out on the field. Today's just going to be a quick overview of this quad as I just received it and it's a bit too late to charge it up and, and test fly it. So I've seen a few clickbaity titles on this one online trying to compare it to a Mavic Air or Hubson Xeno but uh, I think that's rather ridiculous because this is in the price point of the SJRC F11 and I pretty much think this is just a competitor to that particular drone mainly because of the price point uh, it boasts the same sort of specs as that quadcopter and also the features are very similar so I'll be very interested in testing this one out very soon so stay tuned for that video later on and seeing how it compares to that particular drone which I don't currently own but um, I've seen a couple of videos on the SGRC version. All right, guys. Well, with this particular one, I just noticed that I have the 1080p Wi-Fi version, the camera version, which I wasn't aware of. I, I've only seen uh, the 4K Wi-Fi model. So that surprised me when I opened up the uh, package to see that it was 1080p because this had a cover over it as well. Um, so that's rather interesting. Hopefully this 1080p version um, works rather well in capturing video and photos. So the SG906 comes in a few different packages, whether it be one, two or three batteries um, you can choose from. A carry case version, which I have in this box because it's a plain uh, box with just a label on it. Or the non-carry uh, case version, which you'd get a slightly nicer cardboard box that it comes in rather than this one okay guys so all the different prices will be relative to whatever package you choose you can mix them and match them uh, 1080p version is obviously going to be cheaper than the 4k version as well so uh, this was provided by banggood before i forget to mention that um, for review on the channel and i'll be providing a link to their their listing there in the description below as well as an 18% coupon code. So if you want to have a look yourself and check the specs of this one out, have a closer look at the prices and so forth, you feel free to do so in the in the link below. Okay, guys? So anyway, I'm going to open up this uh, box very shortly. I just want to quickly go through this label here. So obviously it's foldable. It has a GPS return home, which we would expect from a GPS uh, drone. Point of interest, which is surrounding mode. Waypoint flying, intelligent IPP following. Now, I believe this one has um, some sort of active track following feature on it. So I think that's what that means. It boasts around 25 minutes flight time. Uh, also has follow me mode, the normal follow me mode via the app or transmitter. This one also has gesture control, which is rather interesting. I, I, I can't wait to uh, try that one out. So... Obviously, we'll be able to um, control the drone's movements by gesture with your hand. And as we see quite common these days, the gesture photo and gesture recording features. Okay, guys. Well, this is just going to be a quick overview today, as I mentioned before. And let's have a look what's inside this box. Okay, well, here it is. I've got the carry case version, guys. And it's a very nice looking carry case here the ZLRC quadcopter logo on there. We have ziplock, double ziplock, a nice little carry handle and also a nice shoulder strap too. All right, so I'll open it up and we'll have a look at the drone itself. Okay, so here's the carry case with the uh, foam protective cover on it. So as you can see, it's rather packaged nice there. There's a protective cover on the Beast drone there. We have the remote the transmitter this remote uh, looks rather familiar it looks like the sg 900 toy grade quadcopter remote 
pretty much exactly the same and as you can see we have two speed rate button there the um, the return to home button we also have the video camera uh, button and the normal snapshot we've got the power button in the middle I've already put batteries in it because I had a sneak peek obviously before I made this video we have the telemetry uh, screen here, which is, looks rather nice. It's got the GPS uh, searching icon there for the satellites. That's only on one bar, obviously, because there's no quadcopter turned on. But that will uh, have a series of bars going across. We have our height distance, our digital uh, distance of flying outwards. We also have different modes here and transmitter um battery life as well as the quadcopter battery life got a series of leds there flashing waiting to bind the sticks aren't on it because they'll be in a goodie box over there that i'll get to in a second um here's the uh phone mount it can fit a very large device i remember using this similar um transmitter a while back like i mentioned on another quadcopter these aren't aerials guys these aren't antennas they're basically like a stand so the antenna is internal on this particular transmitter on the back here we have um, these two buttons on the left which is um, I believe take off automatic takeoff and automatic land and on this side we have the tilt up and down uh, camera button to tilt that one axis uh gimbal okay so that's the remote turn that off for a minute there's another box here which i'll just quickly open and we'll see what we get in here okay in the first little bag uh in that box there we have the screwdriver two aluminum uh, gimbal sticks which is rather nice that they're not plastic they're they're metal and we have the USB to micro USB charger cable for the battery so anyway, I quickly installed those aluminum uh, gimbal sticks on the controller now as you can see they're pretty grippy they just press on they don't have a thread so uh, there they are there at least they're uh, better than plastic being uh, aluminum Okay, in the second little uh, goodie bag, we have a full set of props, which are a split prop design with a little hub on the middle. And we also get some spare screws for the props, so that's rather neat. Just in case you um, have to change a prop and accidentally, because these are small screws, obviously. Just in case you actually drop one out at the field or something, or just lose one. You've got a full set, so that's rather neat. I'm happy that ZLRC provided the whole replacement parts okay last but not least in that box we have a couple of booklets here and a leaflet uh, this first one is the software instructions for the app features and so forth so you've got your software installation operation interface introducing the control interface on the app um, also gesture recognition there's a few different uh, chapters there so that's rather neat and this is the actual instruction booklet for the drone, the whole user manual to how to control it and so forth. And this last little leaflet is a Beast SG906 flight tutorial video. So you've got some uh, QR codes there that you can will take you to, I guess, three different videos. So that's rather neat that they incorporated that so you can get some tutorial guides on how to use every function of the drone and fly it. Okay guys, here's the SG906 Beast drone. Actually, it's got some pretty good weight to it, guys. I'm pretty happy about that, just from first impressions. Got the foldable arm design. Front's out first, rear's out last, and you can see it's got a pretty good size on it, guys. All right, now this is the best bit taking this off ah that's better <laughs> that's satisfying all right so as you can see it looks rather neat guys very nice looking drone it's got that large beast logo almost looks like the chicago bulls uh 
logo there. So as we can see on the front arms here, we've got the SG906 quadcopter uh, imprinted on the front arms, which looks pretty cool. Uh, these motors are 1806 brushless motors. Unfortunately, I can't give you a KV rating because they don't state it on the listing, so that's yet to be determined. Maybe they'll bring out that bit of information later on down the track. We've got the little uh, landing legs on the front arms, and as you can see, none on the rear, so it gives it that low profile stance on the top here we also have an led light bar that will light up once you turn the drone on once the battery is put in i'll show you the battery in a second there's the pins for the battery to connect to um yeah and the camera this version like i stated before is the 1080p uh 5g wi-fi version and it has a 60 degree tilt so you can pan it down 60 degrees and back up again. Um, the range of this actual Wi-Fi modular camera is supposed to be, with these two antennas on the bottom, as you can see, they're the Wi-Fi antennas, supposed to be 350 meters uh, FPV range. Unfortunately, um, you, can re you can remove this uh, module here for the camera. I won't be doing that right now, but... Uh, Unfortunately, there's no SD card on this um, drone, so that's a little bit of a downfall. I wish they had it where you could actually record to an SD card. That way, if there's any skipping in the frames while you're taking video, they won't show up on the SD uh, card DVR, which is a little bit of a shame. But being that this is a removable module, I guess you just press that and then push it out. Um you know, maybe they're planning to bring out a SD card uh, compatible camera down the line. Who knows? The bottom camera here is also an optical flow positioning sensor. This one shoots in 720p uh, HD, I guess, and uh, it's at 25 frames per second, which is much like the front camera as well. That runs 25 frames per second, and it is switchable with the app so you can shoot video forwards and it probably does have a picture in picture where you can have both of them going which i'll check out when i do the flight review on the back here is your 2.4 gigahertz uh, quadcopter antenna and they're stating that this quadcopter can fly up to 800 meters which is pretty good in my opinion so um yeah that's the range that they claim as well as i mentioned before 350 um meters wi-fi range all right now i'll just show you the battery so the battery is a rather long modular style battery as you can see it is a 7.4 volt two cell with 2800 milliamp hours which they're claiming up to well between 23 to 25 minutes of flight time which is rather impressive as I showed you before, you put that little USB to micro USB cable in this uh, battery. That's how you charge this one. So, um, yeah, just use this standard USB cable. You probably can use one out of your Android devices as well. Um, the only drawback about this is that because it's doing it via a cable like that, they're sta stating that it will probably take four to five hours to charge. So that's a heck of a long time to charge one battery up because it is a rather large volume so if you are considering this drone maybe you want to go for a two or three battery option you know i guess but uh i've only got one so it's going to take a while to charge i guess <laughs> um this is a smart battery so in effect you just press the uh power button quickly and it will show you the amount of battery life there as you can see, it came in storage rate, so it has three bars. This is just a little toggle to fit it in the drone. Okay, so I've just fitted the battery into the drone. Just slide it in, like I mentioned before, and hold the power button on for three seconds. And it should start up. There we go. Got a bit of a chime. As you can see, it's got the LED, red LED light bar on the top there red on the rear arms and we have green on the front which is nice good to see green on the front for a change 
So yeah, there you go guys. Nice bright LED lights. We've, it looks like we've got two on each arm flashing away there. It's waiting to bind. So that's uh, nice and bright. We've got like four on the top and another two on the rear plus that smart battery indicator to show you whilst you're flying uh, the battery level, which is rather neat. So anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this quick overview of the new SG906 Beast. It's a new uh, foldable brushless GPS smart drone they're claiming uh, from ZLRC. You can pick this one at Banggood. I'll be providing some links in the description like I mentioned below uh, so you can have a look at it yourself if you're interested in this one uh, as well as the 18% off coupon code. So feel free if you want guys check out that link and you can read up a little bit more about it and the check all the prices uh depending on which country you're from all right guys so thanks once again for joining me on this quick overview of the latest uh foldable drone that's out on the market now um on the channel i'll try to get this out as soon as possible and do some flight testing with it go through the app and all the different features very soon all right guys so uh Thanks very much once again for watching. Feel free to subscribe if you wish to, if you're new to the channel. If you do, uh, feel free to hit that notification bell too, otherwise you won't be updated of any new content coming out from Perth West Oz RC channel. Until next time, guys, I'll see you guys soon. Enjoy the hoppy, happy flying, and bye for now.